you probably can't see anything. But this is the canal. And if we weren't so early, um, there's usually a boat running um, that you can take down the canal. I think it's three kilometers. And And this is the ferry you can take on the canal. Oh, see how it has the uh, Camino de Santiago, like the arrow and the shell? Very cool, very cool. So it just goes back and forth between those two points. It takes an hour. Ah, very cool. So we gotta cross over here. Do we have to cross over? Yeah, because we're going into Formista. This is Formista. Good morning. My name is Claudia. This is my wonderless Camino. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, October 1st. Uh, it is 7 a.m. We've been walking for an hour. We are now in Formista. Uh, we're going to grab some coffee. When we left Boadillo del Camino, it was about 13 degrees. I think it's probably still that. Today we're going to have a high of... 33 so we wanted to get an early start um, Today is also my sister's birthday. Happy birthday cat. Hope you have a Fantastic day Send you lots of kisses. Love you and see you when I'm back uh, Today we're walking to Carrion de los Condes uh, 26 kilometers uh, fairly flat um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be out of the heat, um, by like one or two. Chat to you later. We just had a half hour little breakfast break. We had a coffee. Um, uh, I had a coffee, Co a cafe con leche and a chocolate, I think they call it Napolitano. It's a chocolate croissant. No, no, we saw lots of pilgrims leaving already. Um, it is, what time is it? 7.30? Sorry, 7.30. Uh, we've already walked six kilometers, so we have another 20. I think we'll be there by one, for sure. starting to get laid out. This is an old bargain. Just after Fermista. Oh, and they have a lot of fruit trees. You should... The smell is fantastic. A little hand. <sighs> decisions, decisions. That option is shorter but it's along the road. This option is longer, but it's along the river and it has more shade. Uh, it's pretty early, but we're gonna take um, the longer option with shade. So if you take the right way, it might look like you're going the wrong way because for a long time 
there is no shade and there's no river. But then you turn, you cross over this little bridge, and now we're in the shade and the river's down there. So I would say, I mean, I think, I don't know if you can see, but there's a cyclist. I think if you take the other way, you're just walking along the road there. I can't see anyone there, but that's what I'm assuming. Oh yeah, I see a pilgrim on the road right there beside the cyclist. And we're in the shade. So definitely take the right way. Um, go right, I mean. I know it's gonna look like you're going the wrong way because there's no shade. Uh, maybe for about one, two kilometers. But then you cross over this little bridge. It's all, you can see the Camino signs, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Uh, and then you're here in the shade. It's really nice and cool here. Um, and it is 9.20, the moon's still up. We've walked 14 kilometers. We've been on the road for three hours. And it's just this dirt road. It's been like this since we took that path. Whereas on the other side, you're just walking along the road. So it's a lot of road walking. Uh, and at one point, the two paths will join again. And I think from that point, uh, it's road walking until we get to Carrion de los Condes. So here you can go into the little town or continue going straight along the river. And that's what I'm doing. And then I'll join up uh, a bit further. Yes, I've seen a couple of uh, pilgrims along the road and there's absolutely no shade over there. So it's nice. I mean, it's not that hot yet, but it's nice to be out of the sun, at least for now. The river's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, it's completely dry over here. Okay, we're still on the trail by the river. Uh, and I can see the road and there's absolutely no shade. And you know what else I was thinking? Uh, where are you gonna pee? Cause here there's tons of trees, tons of trees. So you can go behind a tree. Um, and not a lot of pilgrims, so you're okay. Uh, speaking of going behind a tree, make sure uh, when you go pee that you check what's around you because you don't want to be putting your backpack down on some human feces like that happened to someone today. And then you don't realize it until you put your backpack back on and you feel something wet and it's all over you. So. There you go, that's a tip for today. Uh, and also men have it so much easier. I just uh, managed to pee all over myself. So, and it's only 10 o'clock. Yep. So that's that. That's been my morning so far. Fun times on the trail. But, Good thing, we're in the shade. And it's not too hot yet. So, yeah. A little bodega. Be hard for you guys to see. Probably can't see anything. It's just built into these hills, like a little wine cellar. It looks like it's still in use.
This is the Iglesia de uh, Santa Maria la Blanca. Oh, that's quite interesting. And they believe this to be a Templar um, built. Or, Yep. So he used to be a bar owner that would welcome pilgrims into town and then Pablo Pio and then they put a statue here of him. <laughs> So we just merged with the other route um, and uh, now we have six kilometers into Carrion de los Condes like this and they've been walking all morning like this. Um, I think the river walk adds just a few extra uh, meters, not that much. Uh, so I definitely recommend doing that. Take the right side. Because the left, you have this all the way to Carrion de los Condes, and it's this gravel path. But you're exposed, like nothing. And it doesn't even take you into the last little town. You just walk on the outside of it, outskirts of it, and then the two paths merge at the end of town. I can see Kirion de los Condes. Way, way, way ahead. I think we might be two kilometers, but why is it like you see the town? It's so deceiving because you think you're so close. You're gonna be there in 10 minutes, and then it takes you another half hour, 45 minutes to get there. We made it to Carrion de los Condes. Yay! Awesome. I'm not sure what that means. Think and sleep. It is 12.22. We've been walking for five and a half hours. Uh, and we're at 25 and a half kilo uh, kilometers left. According to that sign, we have. The plan is to go drop off our stuff and then come back and explore the town. Take a shower, do our laundry, uh, eat something, and then and look around. session.
this is where we're staying tonight. <laughs> and it's funny because quite a few pilgrims are treating themselves to staying here tonight. And um, it's actually not that expensive. This is a monastery. It's turned into a, I think, four-star hotel, five-star hotel. It is 70 euros to stay. If you split the cost, and you're already used to sharing a room, it's actually not expensive at all. It is a four-star hotel. So 70 euros for the night, two beds. So if you split that, that's 35 each. It's not too bad. So this is inside the monastery. And it's only for hotel guests. really hot by the time we got here but because we left at 6 a.m. we had a good walk in uh, we walked the river walk lots of shade um, and no problems I think probably 28 29 by the time we got to our place uh, it's at the end of carry on the Los Condes you have to cross the bridge um, quite a few pilgrims are staying here they're treating themselves and if you're splitting the cost, it's not that expensive. Um, yeah, so today the total, I kind of lost track of my total, but I think it was uh, 100 euros. Uh, and thank you, cousin Bonnie and Dave, for buying me dinner tonight. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so... Tomorrow, I am going to Sahagun. It's going to be a very long day for me. Um, and uh, that's all I got for today. Oh, tomorrow's temp, they're calling for 33 as well. So I'm going to leave very early. Um, and hopefully beat the heat. No shade. And the first, uh, it'll be 17 kilometers without anything. But because I'm starting early, I'm not really worried. Um, that is all I've got for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>